This is not just a mourning procession, it's a political message designed to demonstrate that all Iranians are united in anger and in outrage against the United States. If you're watching this video and you're wondering why so many Americans say the media is the enemy of the people, well, I have a great example for you here. One thing I've noticed since I started paying attention to politics is that when a Republican is in the White House, the media seems to take the sides of our enemies. For example, when Bush was president, I often couldn't tell the difference between the rhetoric coming from the insurgency and the rhetoric coming from Democrats and their media. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. They always treat Republican administrations as if they're occupied occupying the White House or somehow illegitimate. Bush must go! Drive out the Bush regime! That's the only explanation I can come up with for why they would willingly play a part in the propaganda of our enemies. Take for example last night on CBS News where they willingly took part in a propaganda effort by the Iranian government against the US. These are the same people who have been accusing us of being Russian puppets for the last two years. So many mourners filled the streets of Iran, they could be seen from space. An estimated million people joined in an epic salute to Qasem Soleimani. Ali Khamenei wept as he led the prayer service for his friend and ally. Oh, right, mourners. According to this political scientist, and I don't want to mangle his name, but he says that many of these people were forced to be there, otherwise they face violent penalties. Put simply, this is state-ordered mourning. In fact, Iranian-backed militias actually shot at Iraqi civilians who refused to take part in funeral ceremonies. I don't know why this needs to be said, but Iran is not a free country. Actual, real protests that have risen up in Iran were met with brutal, deadly force by the Iranian government. And you know what? There was no mourning for those people. And it was in fact General Salami who was responsible for the deaths of thousands of Iranian protesters. Which makes this lapdog behavior from US media even more disturbing. This is not just a mourning procession, it's a political message designed to demonstrate that all Iranians are united in anger Oh, it most certainly is a political message, one that the CBS reporter is giving to them in spades. Not only is she giving this charade legitimacy, but think about it. She's an American woman on camera wearing the hijab and surrounded by pro-terrorist, anti-American messages. Repeating the claim that these government manufactured rallies somehow show that Iran is unified. It's pure propaganda. Again, according to Reuters, Salami is responsible for at least 1,500 slaughtered Iranian protesters. But we don't even know if that's accurate because the Iranian government shut down the internet for five days while they did their killing. Are we really to believe that all of those Iranians and their supporters are really in mourning over the death of their oppressor? Uh, say the um, sentence uh, the, for the President Trump. You deep your grave. This is real life, folks. An American news organization that's so blinded by partisan hatred that they're willing to ally with America's most brutal, backwards enemies. They hate Trump so much that they're willing to act as the propaganda arm of a religious cult dictatorship that mass murders its own citizens for protesting. Why the f would CBS put that on TV? They're literally acting as Iranian proxies to spread threats to our president. Sorry to interrupt, we'll get right back to this media insanity, but first let me take a quick moment to thank this episode's sponsor, PatrioticLegacy.com. PatrioticLegacy.com was nice enough to send me over one of these units so I could give you an honest review. I love this tactical flashlight. It's got everything you would ever need. Six overall lighting functions, escape features like the window hammer and the seatbelt cutter, solar charging so you don't need batteries, a power bank for charging your phone and other devices, and a removable compass with access to a personal safety alarm. Patriot Legacy supports veterans and YouTubers like yours truly. So head on over there and make sure to use the promo code DRONE20 to get 20% off your purchase. Thank you. It wasn't just CBS News either. Other network media also aligned themselves with the Iranian government against their own country. Powerful combination of grief and anger with shouts of death to America. Packing the streets to pay tribute to a man revered by many here. Trump made a big mistake. He killed our hero. 
Crowds are massive and emotional. There are many tears here, many signs. Martha Raddatz should be well aware that this man is responsible for slaughtering thousands of Iranian citizens, but she says nothing. She instead props up this monster and his government by spreading their threats against the US. This so-called reporter is probably most well known for breaking down during the night of Trump's election. It's probably safe to say that his election broke her. So broken that she sides with people who would likely mob, rape, and kill her if she wasn't wearing that hijab. All of this should be fundamental, but like I said, these people are blinded by their hatred for Trump and Republicans. So blind that we apparently need Iranian journalists to tell us not to listen to the Iranian regime. In a Washington Post article today, she pleaded with American journalists not to fall for it, saying, quote, Over the next few days, it will be hard to escape footage of huge crowds gathering in Iranian cities to mourn the death of Qasem Salami, the Iranian general killed by U.S. drone strike. For anyone watching, I have one piece of advice. Don't take what you're seeing at face value. Unfortunately, her appeals are likely falling on deaf ears, since it appears today that the media is still acting as the propaganda arm of the Iranian regime, a regime that slaughters its own people for protesting. That's why the media is the enemy of the people, and not just the American people, but as you can see, the Iranian people as well. Now, don't misunderstand me. I don't want war with Iran. We should do everything possible to avoid war. But we also can't just let Iran walk all over us and our allies. One thing's for sure, it certainly doesn't help the situation to have a mass media that allies with our enemies and is utterly untrustworthy. Hey, thanks for watching as always. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you want to support this channel, please consider subscribing to me on Patreon, Subscribestar, or just sending a donation on PayPal. However you decide to support this channel i deeply appreciate it thanks for watching and please keep coming back